I know, Mario, you told me it's an original piece, honey. I didn't know you had so many talents. Hi. <laughs> We got I the glasses on today. Oh, yeah. Snap. It was too oh, early for concerts. Oh, we got the <laughs> professional. <laughs> can you hear me? Okay. Out. Yes, I can okay. hear you. Yes. Come, don't yeah. try to tell you right me. I've been doing good. Don't come <laughs> here. No, I'm so, because I have my um, AirPod in. Then put the good one in. Cause that one I only good. have one. Oh. Mm. <laughs> All right. mm. Okay. So, yes, this is Chantel with a C. Um... Chantel is from New York, but she lives in Miami. She is a poet and soon to be published author. Yes, you can tell us about your book when you're done. She is going to be performing or reading the poem Love and War. All right, yeah, Love and War. So I wanted to love you forever, but I couldn't. Battered skin and tear-filled eyes. I wish the rain would wash the pain away, but it wouldn't. Every time that I step close, I brace for impact. I often wonder where I went wrong. The bad days outnumber the good. This is the same sad song. You continue to hurt me. The longer I stay, the more I feel that I'm not worthy. How can I leave? I remember no one before and think of no one after you. I'm not sure if I can breathe. Or is it your tight grasp around my neck? You say sorry as you kiss the tears away. You say it's how you keep things in check. My body is weary. I continue to hide the scars. No way my bruised heart can think clearly. You try to strip me of everything that I had to offer, pay up or shut up, it's sure gonna cost you. I was able to escape it. No woman should ever have to just take it. We used to be ride or die and that still holds true, but I'll ride for me while you die for you. Mm. That mm. is love and war. So you know ride or die, basically. Mm. These days, no, I live for me. Ooh. <laughs> really? So tell us a little bit about um tell us what do you want to share with us you can share something about the um, poem you can share something about yourself about your new book that's coming up the space that you were in when you wrote that where you're at now well i don't even it was one of those how you said you just catch a thought and you got to write it down real quick and i just let it flow it's not a personal story um it's not my truth i'm sure a lot of people can relate to it but not me and um and i just want to point that out not every poem <laughs> is a form of ex Expression. It does not have to be real, you know, about yourself. It could just be about. It could be fiction as well. It is a nonfiction genre, but it can be fiction. It can be yeah. made up. It can be something that is not pertaining to you, but it's something that you know you want to speak about. So yeah. So I had the idea then. I was like, man, this would be kind of dope if you do it as like a little short film. So if y'all want to look at it, it's on my IG. It's a, uh, what's that? It's IGTV, it's called? Mm -hmm. All right, mm -hmm. it's on my IGTV, a couple of posts, like maybe four or five posts back. And um, currently in the final editing stage of my book, These Pink Matters. And right now, that's pretty much my main focus, what I do on my off time. I told you I might not make it because my train. Be and you of, made it and you home. Girl, they was, no, I'm in the hotel in Orlando. I'm not oh. even home. Yeah, so yeah, I did make it. So I was like, Shanae must have talked to my job because they got us here on time. <laughs> I pulled, I pulled some miracles for this, for this, for this thing today. You know, I appreciate that. But yeah, you're doing a very God's great child. job. He looks out for me always. He always got my back. So if I said yeah. something needed to be done today, God's like, yo, I'm gonna add this to your tab. But I got you. Yeah. So you are appreciated. Thank you for having me. This was the first time I've done a open mic or live reading. So. Yeah, I see, I'm glad everyone's experiencing <laughs> their first. I'm popping a lot of cherries today. Yes, I if you want to call it that. <laughs> yes, it's your first. You know, yeah. it's your first time. I'm glad. So, yeah, thank you so much. Um, Me and Chantel go way back as far as, I mean, knowing each other, mm -hmm. our literary, you know, sharing <laughs> poems and going back and forth with, like, just brainstorming about things and yeah. helping each other out. And so I appreciate her so much as a writer and a fellow poet. Um, she's amazing. She um, does publications as far as magazines. And she just has a hand in a lot of things. She's very knowledgeable. And so if you guys have any questions about almost anything relating to writing and poetry, she is the person that you should hit up. So. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Enjoy the rest of your evening, Chantel. You too. I'll still be tuned in, but I got to go downstairs and get food. <laughs> okay, yes, girl, but keep it on. Keep it on. Keep that one of air course. 